Hello guys. Hey Charlie, can you hear me? Hello everyone. So I am like going off on Facebook right now and I just figured I'm trying to make more instant or uh, instant gram Instagram live videos and this is just like the perfect time to just kind of set the record straight because I'm like typing all this out and I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just make a quick video and then like I can just like have it forever and post it anywhere I want. And I just wasn't getting things right with the words. So um, I am going to tell you what happened and tell you why I'm so bothered by it. And uh, God damn, this freaking lamp is the worst. Uh, oh, that's almost too much light. Um, I'm going to tell you what happened, why I'm so bothered by it. Like the history. Um, I'm going to define this, define the words that I was called. And then I'm going to just tell you what I've done. And then I'm just going to keep elaborating on um, my defense. So someone called me a fucking snowflake on Twitter. And at first I was like, I thought it was like maybe like a cracker or something like a dumb white boy. And so I just kind of like shrugged it off, which is kind of like, it's still not nice, but like, I don't care. Like I've been called like so many things, like haven't we all, like, I'm not going to about to be like mad at some troll on Twitter because I don't even think it's like someone who regularly talks to me. So it's like, if you don't even like regularly keep up with me and you're just like dropping in to throw some hate, I'm like, fuck, no one's got time for that. So, um, someone tweeted back at me, one of my followers and he's like, Oh, I'm just going to read the tweet. We're, we're just going to cover all of this thoroughly. Okay, so I didn't have the Twitter ready because I, I'm i like heated. So I'm just like jumping on right now just to go into all this. Um, and um, so right now at this point in what's happening, I don't know what a snowflake is. So um, someone says, okay, because, uh, okay. So someone told me, Jeez, I got like a lot of tweets. Okay, so um, someone told me that it's a right-wing insult, basically meaning that I'm easily offended. And then I'm thinking to myself, well, what did I say that was right-wing at all on Twitter? And um, I'm obviously, like, I'm offended kind of right now, but like, I'm not even offended. Like I just said, like those people talking shit, like I'm so easy to just like let everything roll off my shoulders. Like I'm really not like, I'm not like an easily offended person. Like, um, so what I tweeted, um, which I also put on Facebook and I said, it's about what's going on in Alabama and the, um, abortion, you know, the abortion law getting passed or that's, they're trying to pass. Um, so, um, I said, I understand that one of the core conservative values um, I understand that one of the core conservative values is to protect life, but by removing a woman's right to have an abortion, um, is more of a detriment than a divi a diversion. It's unethical and unsafe. The value system that is being imposed on the people of Alabama. Now, if anything, that does not sound right wing at all. That is, um, sounds way more liberal to me. And I will go on record for saying I am a moderate, independent person um, as of this year, like 100%. Like, I um, value what people have to say on both sides. I do not um, subscribe to ex radical um, um, uh, ideology on either side. So I was like, okay. So then I... Google. Well, first of all, I replied to my follower and I was like, um, I thought, you know, I got some clarity from him and he's like, no, I was telling you what, you know, I was telling you what this is. And I was like, this, this does not seem right. So I Googled it and, um, it says on urban dictionary, which is where you get all the, all the slur, um, like language. Um, that's where you're going to find the definite, like this, like new age talking, like whatever the fuck it means. So, um, be okay so snowflake means it's it's extent i cannot talk right now 
Snowflake began, because it used to mean something different. It used to mean um, someone who thinks they are uniquely special and really they are not. Um, uh, like, I thought that was kind of funny and that would kind of make sense if someone was commenting on what I had said and or some things that I've said online and then like they were saying that I'm not spe- like, like, you know, whatever. That just seems like a normal diss that you could say to anyone like, hey, you're not special, you know. Uh, anyways, but then it began being used extensively as a put down for someone usually on the political left who is easily offended or felt they needed a safe space away from the harsh realities of the world, but now has morphed into a general put down for anyone who complains about any subject. I'm like, that's when I'm like up to here because I'm like, okay, I can't like talk about like anything that's like moderate an opinion anywhere without people from both sides of 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 like the spectrum attacking me a few weeks ago I had friends I had some really really I had over I had three about 300 comments on a Facebook post that I made um where I talked about uh um Islam and Europe and um, how and and when you even mention anything that is not totally in support of Islamic um, culture or um, in any way, you know you're um, you know you're you have you're a, you're full, you're full of hate towards um, Muslims and Islam um, Islamic people, which is like totally not true. Like you can't even like talk about them without being targeted as like um, all things all negative things in the books, like a racist or. Um, I got, I I had friends that just like totally like look at me differently for things that I like had said and like, and then it gets it to a point where like I couldn't even like speak because there was just like so many comp, so many people commenting and it really made me scared for like the future because you really can't even talk about anything without people. I think it just like when I got called the snowflake, I think it just really like rehashed how I felt about like what had happened on um, Facebook a few weeks before that. It's like, I literally can't say anything. And then as soon as like I start to say anything, like about about people people want to like dive into like my past while like you know like calling me like a sex worker and like how like how like I have like you know like I don't have the right to say I don't have the right basically to have like a political opinion about anything because I'm like the bottom of the barrel like you know or 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 because I have a, I've had mental health issues in the past I don't have I'm not thinking clearly or um or because my ideas have changed as time changes and I get and I educate myself on issues and I listen to both sides of the story of, of the narrative um instead of being on one side like I've always been my whole like life that now I'm not Cody anymore and I've um I'm being brainwashed and I'm and it's just like and then people you know can look at it from the other side and it's just like I, I feel like I'm being judged from like and, and it's not just me. It's like everyone's being judged for like opening their mouths. It's like if you don't agree with someone, instead of having like an objective discussion, you're like condemned. And I fucking hate it so much. And it just it, it just shows you it's it's sad because it just shows you who is like really who really cares about you and what you have to say as a person. You know, like I feel I have like a lot of empathy and like I have or, or compassion for those people who are so quick to judge because I used to be like that um, on the extreme liberal side of things. And I remember growing up thinking that um, my conservative friends were wrong because I always felt that because like we weren't allowed to be um, like we weren't having an honest relationship or allowed to have be. Um, it wasn't genuine or we weren't supposed to be friends because we didn't have the same beliefs. But now that I look back and then now that I, I look at the patterns, all of my conservative friends um, are way more true blue and we can agree to disagree and they love me no matter what. And they've always been there for me. I grew up in a community that was mostly conservative people. So I was an outcast and I was never I mean, I have been bullied, but I was bullied by strangers more than people who cared about me. People always cared about me and treated me with respect, even though they may have, may not have agreed with my lifestyle. And my friends on the left, they are the ones that are so quick to 
completely condemn me, like, um, cri- criticize, like, hate me, f- spiel, just spill hate because I even question their beliefs, um, of, or, or I, I want to have a discussion because I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not subscribing to all of this, these, these, these ideas that, that, you know, I'm not saying that I'm not subscribing to them. I agree with a lot of it, but just for even questioning people, you're, um, it's like you're, you, they make you feel like you're violating their rights or like, like you, you hate them as people, or it's like this personal attack and they're so quick to delete you off of Facebook. Um, you know, um, disrespect you, uh, just it's, it's, it's so, it's so upsetting. So, um, I'm going to end this rant, um, live video with, um, what I posted on my public Facebook page, which if you do not follow me on my public Facebook page, I'm going to start using that a lot more because I'm almost maxed out on friends on Facebook. So I add people on Facebook And then I try to get people over to my public page because it's way more, um, like it's just, there's, you can do way more with it. And it's just like, it's not as limiting as like a personal account. So anyways, so if you go to facebook.com, oops, not, not, that's not facebook.com. Um, if you go to facebook.com slash Cody Cache, my username also here and everywhere, um, you'll see what I just posted. And, and I'm just going to read it to you guys because you tell me if I'm out of line here when I say this. I hate how instant messenger always pops up as soon as you log in. Okay. So I said, someone just called me a snowflake. It's funny. It sounds kind of like I'm reacting like a snowflake because I'm taking it so personally. But it's like, um, I'm going to let it go after the, after this video. It's like done for me. Um, hi, Jacob. Um, so, um, I'm, I'm, I'm really going to drop it after this because I've said all I need to say and there's no need to keep, you know, elaborate elaborating on it. Um, people are going to treat you the way that they treat you and you can only meet them halfway if they want to ban, like, what is the word? Someone give me the word. I guess it's just condemn. If they want to write you off or judge you or think of you differently, then I think, you know, what, it's on them and... Um, so on my, on the public Facebook, it says someone just called me a snowflake on Twitter after some research and inquiring with my audience. Thanks guys. I can say with a hundred percent certainty that is not true. If you think I'm a snowflake, you are not getting a full read on me at all and are taking things out of context, which rep, which uh, misrepresents me as a person. And I mean that sincerely. And I think everyone can understand how that feels and it doesn't feel good. And I don't like having to over explain myself because then I continue to get attacked and people read into things the wrong way. They read into it the way that they want to, not how you mean them, which is why they hate me now. And and I'm talking about like long time friends. It's really, really sad. Um, uh, I wish I would, I I don't have time to go into that post on Facebook where it has all the comments. Many, Many of you may have already seen that. So, um, keep getting back to what I'm saying here. Um, so, um, you are not getting a full read on me at all. And you are taking things out of context, which represents me as a person, just because I'm an intense person with passion and conviction who also happens to be firmly moderate. Doesn't mean I'm not a warrior for peace and equality among all of us globally. And I mean that a hundred percent. I love everybody and I fight for that and I may not be in at every rally or on the street, but you better believe I spend my time reading and understanding and treating people the best that I can in my life every single day. I, if I ever say something negative, which I did earlier today, you can ask Philip Ashton. I was saying some negative things about a, a mutual friend of ours and I caught myself right in the middle of it. And I said, you know what? This is not who I want to be. I'm really sorry for doing this. And I really believe in taking accountability and just owning what you're doing and it doesn't you're not you're not your lower vibrational self you are who you aspire to be and um so and that's a warrior attitude right there okay so um just because i'm firmly moderate doesn't mean that i'm not a warrior for peace and equality among all of us globally that means muslims too 
That means anyone who I do not know. That means anyone who is a criminal. That means anyone who has, who has less than me and anyone who has more than me. Okay? That's, those, we're all my brothers. And, we're all brothers and sisters. And that's the way I was raised. And that's the way that I will continue to live my life. Not, not any other way. Okay? So warriors are not snowflakes. We are the ones making the changes necessary for the future generations of your family to live the best lives possible. Take several seats down. I love that new little saying. I almost had to look that one up on Urban Dictionary, but I have been watching a lot of Wendy Williams and take several seats down. Take several seats. I'm not even saying it right. Okay, so that's the end of my spiel. You know what? Thanks for tuning in and thanks for listening. I see you guys aren't like talking a whole bunch and I feel like I really was just like listened to and I needed that from you guys. Um, I I guess that's the end of my live stream. Have a great, thank you, Matthew. You know, it's, you know, I'm not having a bad day skin wise. I haven't, I've been super duper lazy. I haven't even like, I haven't even <laughs> rinse off my face today I've been just I, I was waiting on a friend to come and hang out like kind of like all day and I was like oh when my friend comes over then I'm gonna jump in the shower and then like now it's like 9 30 and he never showed up so um but thanks I've just been taking better care of myself I guess that's what happens whenever you're not um a mess and thank you for buying the body butter Matthew um, Matthew left me a really, really nice review, which I posted on my Instagram feed. If you want to message Matthew, <laughs> go ahead and do it. Ask about the body butter. I want to sell more of those suckers. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to bust that baby out when I get the, um, cause the packaging isn't looking right. So when I get the packaging looking good, I'm going to bust out a YouTube video or go on Instagram live and I'm going to show you guys how amazing it is until then. Um, stay positive people like, you know, just listen to others. Don't be afraid to talk to each other, but when you're talking, make sure you're listening more than you're trying to push your values or opinions on other people, you know, listen to them, even if you don't agree with them. I love you all. Good night.